Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here to build your confidence and creativity through paper crafting. Today's project is this one. I made this card set using the color and contour stamp set and the scalloped contours dies but we still have one more card to finish. So I used the um, Glorious Gingham 6x6 six six designer series paper. It's this pretty plaid back here, and there are five colors in it. We have Pretty Peacock, Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, Pecan Pie, and Blueberry bush Bushel. So if you want to see how to make these cards and the Blueberry Bushel one, please keep watching. So for all five cards that I've made, we're using the color and contour stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set with 13 stamps in it. Five, well, yeah, five sentiments. These two kind of go together. So really there's four, but it's five sentiments in here, bunch of images, and it coordinates with the scalloped contours dies. I love these dies. I probably use them a lot just for the scalloped rectangles, but we do have this die that cuts out our large flower here, this one that cuts out the little flower, and then this cool scalloped border. Today, the only dies we're going to be using is our large flower here and the second largest scalloped rectangle. So I'm going to set those aside. We're going to do a little bit of stamping first. There is a bit of stamping for this card, not a ton, but I have our large flower. This is a two-step stamp set, meaning two stamps create one image. So we need this part for the inner part of our flower. I'm using the little flowers here and then our sentiment. Now there are, like I said, there's five sentiment stamps, but these two kind of go together and I did it for the pretty peacock card. The here for you now and then on the inside I said in better days ahead. So there are five but kind of four because those go together. We're going to be using the thank you for everything um, stamp for our sentiment. I have a scrap piece of paper here. All the measurements for this card are on my blog. If you click the link in the description of this video it'll take you right to this blog post. I'm going to grab my memento ink. This is a tuxedo black ink. We're going to do our flower first. So I'm going to ink this up in the Memento Black. Make sure I'm getting good coverage. And then I'm just gonna stamp it here onto our scrap piece, just like that. And before I put the black away, I wanna grab our scalloped rectangle that I cut from a piece of basic whites. This one here is the second largest one. And we're just gonna do our sentiment. So I'm gonna ink up my sentiment in the black there's a little something on it there, but I think we can cover that. And I'm just going to go in this bottom corner right there. And that is it for the black. So now I'm going to take the blueberry bushel. I'm going to move this to the side. We're done with that for now. I'm going to take our inside for the flower. Now my tip for this is there's this little piece for the top here. That's what I line up because this is more of like a watercolor set. It doesn't line up perfectly, but I do line up that little flower on the top. And see how it's not, like I said, it's not perfect. And you can see on the other cards, it's not perfect, but it's not intended to be. So don't think you have to perfectly line it up. And before I put that away, I'm gonna get our piece for the inside and I'm just gonna stamp it in the blueberry bushel. And then I'm going to stamp our inside piece, but I'm going to stamp it off once onto my grid paper and then go onto our flower just to make it a little bit lighter. So that is it for stamping. Now what I have to do is die cut my flower using the die that I set somewhere in my life here. <laughs> and you see that lines up just perfectly. So I'm going to die cut this clean up my stamps, put them away, and then we can assemble our card. All right, all my stamps are cleaned up. I have die cut our flower. And just a note, 
the members of the Sassy Paper Crafters VIP group actually picked which color I'm demonstrating today out of these five. I showed them all five of these pieces and they you overwhelmingly, not unanimously, overwhelmingly voted on Blueberry Bushel. If you would like to join the Sassy Papers Crafters VIP group, the link is in the description of this video. So let's put our card together. Again, all the measurements are on my blog. So I'm just going to take some liquid glue. I like the liquid glue for this step because I'm trying to get it kind of precise. And the liquid glue really helps with that. Seal is good and it's fast. But the liquid glue, when you're trying to do something precise, is a lot better for that. So this is just as long as the basic black piece. So I wanna make sure I line it up properly. It's just as long, but the basic black is just a little bit wider to give it a nice border. And then I'm gonna press it down. Now we're gonna take our card base, fold that in half, grab my bone folder, flip that over. A little liquid glue on the back of that. You don't want to go too crazy with the liquid glue. I don't need it squirting out the sides. And again, this basic black is just as long as our card base. I'm going over to the left a little bit with it. And I just want to line it up just like that. And then we will press it down. Now, normally when I do card sets, <clears throat> I do all the pieces in stages. So I'll die cut everything. I'll cut everything all at once. If you want to see how I make a full five card card set, leave a comment on this video. See if there's any interest and then I'll show you how I do it. So now before we put on our label here, our scallop contour rectangle, I want to take a little bit of this basic black trim. It's Baker's Twine. It comes in this five pack. So there's black, um, basic white, gray granite, very vanilla, and crumb cake. We're using the black. Grab my seal. Oh, and something stuck to it. There it goes. Wow, that was really far. <laughs> I'm just going to take and put this kind of towards the middle. Now, depending on where you put your sentiment, that is where you're going to place your twine. I'll show you the other cards to show you that some of them are up a little higher, some of them are down a little lower. It's all about where you placed your sentiment. So now I'm going to take a few Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll do four of them just to pop this piece up. And then we're going to put that right on our card base over to the right a little bit because we want that gingham that glorious gingham paper to come through. Now we can take a couple of dimensionals, place them on our flower. I'm gonna stick it just like that. And then we're gonna still have to make a bow. I'll do that in a second. I'll show you my little trick I learned for making a bow because the baker's twine for me is sometimes really hard to work with just because it's so thin. So I have a hard time making a bow by hand with it, but I have a little trick. So I have a fork here and I'm just going to take some of my baker's twine and I'm going to wrap it around the fork. Now the way I like to look at it is that makes kind of a V shape, like a sideways V. So I wrap this around. I need to actually go this way. <laughs> I need my end here. You can cut this too to work with it. I prefer to keep it on the roll because it's less waste that way. But I'm going to take this piece, bring it to the front, and right through the middle of my fork, I'm going to pull, so I have this end here, bring it up back through the middle. I want to bring this down a little bit because I want my loops a little bit bigger. And then we're just going to tie it in a knot. And I'm just going to kind of finagle it, wiggle it a little bit, and then we can cut that off. And pull it off, and there is our bow. So now I'm going to take a mini glue dot. I'm going to kind of flip it over. There is no really front or back to a bow, but 
I like flipping it over. I'm going to take the paper piercing end of the take your pick tool and I'm just going to kind of roll that glue dot and make it tiny. Stick it to the back of the bow. Place it on our cart. Now that is called a faux bow because it's not exactly attached to our, it's not one, all, all one piece, but it looks like it is. So now we need to add some bling. I have some of the adhesive back sparkle gems. These just came in. So they come in like a white glitter, black, and then a champagne color. I did use the champagne color on the pecan pie because I really liked how that looked. So we're going to use the um, basic black though for these. So I'm using one of the larger ones down there and then two of the smaller ones. Just kind of scatter them around. That's a little too centered with the other one when I'm scattered looking. And that is our project for today. Let me bring back in the other four cards so you can see them all. So we have Blueberry Bushel, Pretty Peacock, Pecan Pie, Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button to get notified every time I upload a video. I upload on Mondays and Fridays. I hope you enjoyed this project today. I can't wait to see some of your card sets. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.